Hi everybody, this is Trish from Art Journal Junkie. I was away the last week overseas, but I knew that there was a parcel waiting for me at our local post box. And I also knew who it had come from because she'd sent it in March and said to me on an instant message, she said, Trish, I sent something to you, have you received it yet? So when this international parcel arrived, I knew exactly who it had come from, and I bet you would know too, just by looking at this gorgeous envelope that has been uh, hand printed and doodled, and yes, it came from the delightful, absolutely gorgeous, Miss Cat Hand of Mixed Media Morsels. And I am so excited because I, a South African art journalist, has now got my very, very own artwork from said lady. So while I'm rambling on here, I must just tell you I've had to re-record this um, voiceover because initially when I was opening the parcel, there were far too many squeals of joy and laughter and excitement and I was giggling and I was ooing and aahing as I opened each little piece that's inside the envelope. But I want to share with you exactly what I received. And um, first of all, I must also say that the post office just, they really mess up these envelopes, don't they? I mean, really, don't they know how much art is and how much time and love is put into making such a beautiful piece? And then they go and wrap it with all this ooky plastic and sticky stuff, and I could just about have a hernia. But anyway, not being able to open it properly, I thought, well, let me take my scissors, and please God, nothing gets cut, and it wasn't. And here... Oh, how exciting is my very, very own art from Miss Cat Hand. Now, I'm going to put her, um, uh, her link to Mixed Media Morsels below. And please go and support her. It's because of her that I've been able to get my journaling on the go. So, Daily Paper, this I thought must, was a piece of uh, magazine paper until I opened it and then I realized, whoa, well, hold on, it's printed tissue paper. So, how exciting is that? Because, you know, we, we don't really get this sort of gorgeous stuff here. And if we do, it's frightfully expensive. This, uh, I, ooh, I saw a summer pasta salad there. Mm, we're going into autumn now. Oh, well, actually, it's just about winter. And aren't I babbling on here? So, dictionary pieces uh, yep I can't read that one but mm, I know exactly what I'm gonna do with it some more oh beautiful old vintage pages aren't they gorgeous and if I'm right I think this piece here is I think a clock card or some sort of a time sheet oh I see there it's a score uh, yep probably for bridge perhaps anyway uh, How's this? A tomato and basil. Oh, oh, I like the colors of that band. Yeah, I sure do. And a shopping list, which um, I think I'm going to put that on my fridge. Uh, maybe, oh, let me see. And uh, I was having a look and seeing, uh, can I use this jimbery? Now, let me just tell you, you can see my hands waving around. And at this point, in originally, I was trying to tell you all about Cat and Mixed Media Morsels and how she has uh, truly, truly inspired me to uh, do some art journaling, especially with Mixed Media Morsels. Oh dear, uh, if only our South African rand and the dollar was good, I would um, not be wishing that these were real. Anyway, um, so as I was saying, uh, Kat really inspires one to do a little bit of art journaling every day by virtue of the size of the mixed media morsels and their tiny little bits of beautiful work, which she originally started. Oh, I'm going to shut up and I'm going to let you go across to her channel and her Facebook page and just enjoy absolutely all this beautiful art that she has shared with us. Now, I know that these pieces of washi tape that I'm taking out of here were made on a jelly plate and they were doodled and um, I just love these colors. Look at that. Oh, you know, this lady's got a, an amazing sense of how to put color together, really. Yep, I think it's on sticky tape, double-sided tape. Uh, um, Listen, it's in one of the mixed media morsels on how to make this tape. So go and have a look, okay? And um, I know exactly where I'm putting that. 
And then I was looking at this one, um, apart from the beautiful sentiment, those little circles I think come from a spice uh, shaker and oh no, no that's a grinder I had some salt in my in my studio for the salt technique which Kat also teaches and oh how cute is this owl anyway just suffice it to say I think those were um, perhaps spice shaker tops you know amazing what you can use to um, print with any all these things. oh look at this uh, I forgot oh, yeah I forgot how much I love the United States until I just saw these. My son lives there, uh, well one of them at any rate, and I don't get to see him that often. And then look at these gorgeous pieces, I mean they can be used for collage, they can, oh that's on the back of, what's that, yeah it looks like a Nat Geographic page. I love this colour combination. And of course music is one of my passions, so I, li I, li I like that you can see the music coming through. I haven't seen this stencil before, but again, using magazines and junk mail and... Kat, I've got to ask you, how do you get these so flat? I mean, they just really are perfect. Mine always go all crinkle cut and I never know quite how to flatten them down. But uh, the colours, yeah, are beautiful. And then that is just divine. Look at that again, just on the back of a piece of page of a magazine. Now this drywall tape is going to become a prized possession because we don't get drywall tape in South Africa. So, well, not like that anyway. So Kat, thank you so much. I truly, truly appreciate every piece that you have put into this envelope for me. Hey guys, I'm a South African art journalist that's got real, real stuff from Cat Hand. And here's a quick look again at exactly what was in my surprise package. Thank you, I truly appreciate it. And I'm going to put all the links to Cat down below. And when I use these in my art journals, be sure I'm going to tell everybody, Cat, that you made these for me. Thank you so much. Everybody have a wonderful day, be blessed, and I'll see you again soon. Take care for now. Bye. Oh, and of course, one last thing. Sorry, I should have said, if you like my channel too, please would you consider subscribing and liking this video so that I know that you liked it and then I can make more videos, not just of Happy Mail, but actually of artwork too. Take care. See you all soon. Bye for now.